Alright, hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and welcome to another exciting 3D Studios Max for Beginner Tutorial. And this day I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a nice looking glass in 3D Max. Alright, so the first thing um, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to Create <coughs> Geometry Standard Primitives and you're gonna create a cone. So, you create a cone, create a shape of the glass kind of bring it just like that so uh, the glass actually looks like that <laughs> alright so next thing you're gonna wanna do is right click on it and then you're gonna go to clone and make sure it's copy not instance copy and then ok alright so the next thing you're gonna do don't touch anything and go to modify so it's, it's actually the second glass is selected and go to modify and then the radius you can see from the front view over here set the radius one down a little bit and radius two down and then we're gonna bring this up and basically we're gonna create a hollow for the glass so yeah so we're gonna use this second glass uh, to to actually delay it all the parts from the uh, second glass over here and create a ho nice looking hollow and so to to um, create that we're gonna uh, after you set this radius um, smaller from the second from the first glass uh, all you're gonna do is click this the first glass which is the outside uh, part here the first glass and then you're gonna go to create change it from uh, your matrix change it from standard primitives to um, uh, compound objects, compound objects, and then pro pro boolean, and then from a pro boolean you can set this to subtraction. So what it will do is we're gonna use this <coughs> second cone here to actually delay uh, uh, some of the part from the first clone. So I will just show you. So you j make sure you highlighted the outside cone which is the bigger one which is this the first cone and then subtraction and then start picking and you're gonna pick the second cone over here which is a smaller one at the inside so what it will do it will erase the part of the first clone so you just create a nice looking glass all right so it's basically you just created a glass actually pretty easy you can then just to start a primitive scan you can add some teapot here so it's a teapot with a glass <laughs> segment up and then you can actually go to plane <laughs> just like that so today it's actually pretty easy we create a glass with a teapot uh, yeah all right so for the material as we already um, learned um, we're gonna set the specular level up a little bit and then glassiness down a little bit and then maybe we're gonna drag it to the glass first and the opacity don't forget to make it maybe 60 so if you render this you can see this is the glass kinda um, uh, uh, you know see through all right, so in the maps, don't forget to set the reflection, or maybe reflect a refraction uh, to ray trace, and then set this down around 29. All right, so and for the teapot, maybe next material, set the color to blue. Click OK, and specular level up a little bit, glossiness down just a little bit. And then um good maps refraction ray trace around 48 or so if we render this pretty cool alright so material for the um uh, plane maybe set the non to bitmap and we can go to my computer local disk C program files and then um, where's the Autodesk? Autodesk, 3D Max, Maps. Then from ArcMet maybe. Whatever uh, maps you want. Mm, maybe.
maybe some wood will be good so you can drag it to the plan and you can show standard map in viewport so click that and you can sh turn off the edge faces here so you can see and so you can set tiling up to make it more you know smoother and if you render this it's already pretty good and maybe um, the glass you can set the reflection uh, you can just copy this to, by drag it to the reflection copy so we, we use re reflection ray trace for the reflection also so if you render this it's kind of too long and <laughs> maybe you can turn off the reflection just the reflection all right so you can turn off the refraction and turn on the reflection so as you can see here and so the next thing you're gonna want to do is create a light omni put it whatever you want don't forget to cast the shadows on ray trace shadow we're gonna use the ray trace shadow so today um oh yeah don't forget to the shadow parameters the density down around 70, 0 0.75 and then <coughs> uh i'm gonna show you what is the different uh so we're gonna set this up first so go to modify make sure the lamp is highlighted so go to modify and then let's say area shadows if you render this as you can see the shadows uh, from the glass is actually not see-through you know it's like the glass is like made from a rock <laughs> and if you change it to shadow map if you render this the shadow is not blur in the um, side so every shadow is actually kind of blur as you can see here and rate of uh, uh, yeah now we're gonna choose ray traced shadows and ray traced shadows is actually best on the um, object if the object is see-through then the um, shadow is not uh, is actually see-through <laughs> all right so we're gonna use ray traced shadow for the glass all right everyone so that's the basic um, uh, thing to create a glass and uh, add some teapot and whatever the, whatever you want to add and then maybe if, uh, in the glass material here we're gonna change it to white maybe if you remember this it's gonna work and then for the background it's kinda black maybe we're gonna change it so rendering environment and from the none here you're gonna go to bitmap and you're gonna place whatever big drone you want let's say you are gonna have some a cup of tea in the middle it's okay see <laughs> all right so guys <clears throat> that's it that's about that's all about it so uh, you just learn how to create a glass material and uh, how to create a glass too maybe you can set the opacity down a little bit more and there you go and this teapot so you just have a lunch in a middle middle <laughs> alright guys uh, thank you for watching this is another 3D Studios Max beginner tutorial and today we just create how to, to, to use pro, pro boolean to create a nice looking glass alright so my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie thank you for watching and please subscribe if you find this useful and the next tutorial maybe I'm gonna teach you how to create a cool intro uh, with uh, 3D Studios Max a cool 3D intro alright so see you